Hello from Tokyo.、Um, my name is Stephen Sarazen. And I'm Yang Yuzhang. And uh, together we、uh, we work as curators, uh, writers, writers, and lecturers under the、um, under the name、uh, As Said. And、um, we are here now to talk about the、uh, the two works that are shown at this year's edition of、uh, Video Film.、Um, Yang Yu and I are grateful to、uh, Gabriel Suchet and Video Film for the curating invitation. Um, I'm going to talk about the work of artist Eko,、uh, Eko Soga, Soga. Mm-hmm. And, and Yang Yu is going、I'm、to talk about Tomoko Konoike. And <clears throat> I'd just like to make just one quick comment uh, that um, just a little maybe a little more than ten years ago,、uh, I had the good fortune to bring three video artists, um,、mm-hmm. all three artists. Who work with many、uh, many mediums, including including video,、uh, including Tomoko Konoike,、uh, Okada Hiroko, and、uh, the great、uh, Idemitsu 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 Mako,、um, who just turned eighty、um, one. And、uh, and yes,、yeah, so uh, Tomoko had、uh, had presented this、uh, very、uh, remarkable installation、uh, some over ten years ago. And、uh, and so we're showing new work,、uh, new work now. And、uh, and Yang Yu is going to talk about、um, yes. Tomoko.、Mm-hmm. Um, so Tomoko is better known as a Japanese painting painter and an installation artist.、Um, her work could、um, size from、um, as tiny. As a few centimeters, and to as huge as some twenty twenty five meters, and、uh, she would work with paper, with animal fur or skin,、um, with、uh, clay, etc.、Um, medium is never a limitation to her,、um, but this time at、um, at video forms. Um, we are looking at works by her that are video、um, with herself in the works. So about two decades ago, we saw works by her that were handmade with hand drawings by herself, and there was always this this chubby, roundy figure、um, that would、um, find its way in the nature environment. It could be in the snow or by the sea.、Um, it might be playing with the wind, etc. And this time we see her herself in the videos, replacing that figure. She becomes this、um, creature,、uh, not so much a、um, human being with social connections, but more as a creature that's closer to the nature environment. Um, that would、uh, resonate with the wind, with the wolf, or with wherever she is, the surroundings. Can you remind us where she made、yes. these works? Yes,、um, she would、uh, travel from、uh, the northeast of Japan, Akita Prefecture,、mm-hmm. or、uh, the Setowuchi area, which is in the center area of Japan,、uh, to as far as. North Europe to Sweden to Finland, and、um, but we don't really see these geographical features that much in the works. It's just a、um, nameless or locationless、um, environment where she finds her way to sing a song, to drag a canoe, canoe, or、um, to bury herself in the snow. Um, so in one of the works, we see her、um, carrying this bear fur on her back, dragging the canoe through the stream in the snow field, etc. While、um, saying the song that is、uh, a folk song from her hometown,、um, which is to celebrate the daughter's marriage、uh, while she's about leaving the home. So the song would goes、um, to、um, wish her a long happiness, and of course,、um, showing the the sadness of、uh, having to hand the daughter 
to another family.、Um, at the same time, we would see Tomoko carrying the bear fur and、um, being this warrior-like figure in the、um, challenging environment. And、um, in another piece, she、um, sings by the seashore or in the sea,、um, uh, which is an island called Oshima in Sedoji area. That was used to be a, a Hansen's disease sanatorium. From 1909, it has been this quarantine area uh, area uh, where people are sent there and spend their whole lives. And thousands of people we're talking about here. And、um, so while she's saying, while there's no physical limitation or restriction to her,、um, we know. Uh, for the site,、um, as one of those、uh, patients that used to live there or still live here right now, they don't have a choice or a future outside the island.、Um, and in another piece, we see her buried、uh, in the snow below her neck, singing Doraemon. Yes, I was.、Uh, I was thinking on the way here. Yes, that、uh, Doraemon. Yes, Doraemon is this uh, little uh, uh, sort of robot, cat-like、uh, character who、um, who lives with this little boy, and、uh, this character has ex-、um, existed for you know, for decades.、Um, and uh, uh, we were talking before about how、uh, Doraemon.、Uh, Had also been the object of a、uh, contemporary art exhibition a group show.、Uh, yes. When was that? Couple、it's, of years. It's、ago? called、uh, Dolai Mountain, and I think it started from 2017. Every year they would、uh, have a show in, in Tokyo or other big cities in Japan, while collaborating with a major bunch of major contemporary artists, artists from、yes. Japan.、Uh, Tomoko had uh, joined. Uh, The exhibition. Yes,、uh, she participated in 2017, I think.、Right. Yes.、Uh, other, yeah, other, I guess, famous artists from Japan who、uh, also participated included、uh, Murakami Takashi,、mm. uh, Aida Makoto,、uh, Inagawa. Uka, Inka, yes.、Mm. Yes. Um, so, so yes.、Um, Uh, Doraemon is a big thing. Yeah, Doraemon yeah. is the imaginary friend, friend that of... every other kid would want. And, and then we see her sing the song in this field with nobody else.、Uh, at that moment, I think Doraemon becomes something abstract that a sense that we don't usually see around us. Sure. Yes, it's a little like、uh, yeah, Doraemon、uh, is released <laughs> in,、uh, yeah, in in the nature. Yeah, like that.、Um, but the work of、uh, Tomoko has always been based on this、uh, very, very close relationship to、uh, folk tales or fairy tales,、yes. uh, and that she has created characters in her work、um, uh, that were the objects of these for、um, yes. these fairy tales.、Okay. And this time, Tomoko, yeah, is the、uh, the character. And she finds her way to combine the anthropological anthropological、uh, methods. With these folklores, fairy tales. Fairy tales, right?、Mm. Whereas, in the case of、um, Eiko Soga,、um, so this is the first time that、uh, she is shown,、uh, perhaps in France,、uh, but certainly a video film.、Uh, so Eiko Soga is、uh, is a younger artist,、um, Japanese artist, but who has been based in the UK in Oxford for、uh, several years now.、Um, And in 2015, she had a project which took her to、uh, Hokkaido,、uh, which is the,、uh, the, the most northern part of Japan. And she、um, she had a project uh, with um, uh, members of the Ainu community,、mm-hmm. and the Ainu community is、uh, indigenous, the indigenous population of Japan to the north, as is.、Um, The population of Okinawa、mm-hmm. uh, to、um, to the south, but、uh, it's the only officially sure, recognized right, indigenous yes, people. Indigenous、yes. people, that's right, in Japan,、mm-hmm. and、um, the encounter with the Ainu community was so powerful for Eiko Soga that、uh, since 2015 she has returned、um, each summer 
to make a new project there and to develop um, her relationship and her dialogue with members of the Ainu community. Um, so part of what she does uh, is also uh, has to do with anthropology and ethnology but and documentary uh, documentary filmmaking but at the same time she transforms it into um, a uh, very personal uh, experience uh, and um, at video film we're showing two uh, single channel pieces um, one is called uh, tuning bamboo and the other is uh, autumn salmon and uh, uh, the two works have several uh, themes in common, uh, unsurprisingly. Um, they are each about um, going to Hokkaido, encountering, meeting uh, one person um, who is going to teach her how to make a traditional uh, Ainu object. Mm -hmm. And uh, learning the process of doing that is going to take some time. And so over the course of that, uh, of that experience, um, um, we're going to see uh, things about the nature, uh, the forest, the, um, uh, the steps uh, taken to, um, to make these things. Um, in the case of uh, Tomoko, uh, yeah, you, you mentioned that, uh, uh, for example, the bear video mm -hmm. and the Doraemon song, uh, those are shot in winter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hokkaido is famous for its winter, but uh, Eiko Soga goes there in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't have uh, we don't have images of this harsh climate that Hokkaido is famous for, uh, and that, uh, for example, Japanese cinema has uh, been keen on representing uh, over the years. Um, so she's there usually in the summer for two or three months. Um, and in Autumn Salmon, uh, she's learning how to make um, shoes uh, out of salmon skin. And so she encounters someone who teaches her uh, how to do that. So we all have the salmon, we have cutting the salmon, emptying the salmon, boiling it, and learning how to remove the skin. And these are big salmons. <laughs> and, um, and then learning uh, how to dry the skin and then uh, starting to um, make the shoe, you know, make the shoe. Um, tuning bamboo uh, is uh, sort of a similar process. She, um, she meets someone who's going to teach her how to, um, how to carve, uh, how, to, how to make the, uh, uh, this tuning bamboo, which um, in the end is very similar to, um, in English, what is called a uh, mouth arp which makes this kind of little twangy, twangy sound. And for people who are familiar with American bluegrass music or country music, uh, mm. it's, it's a very well-known instrument. Um, so uh, she meets this, um, this man who is going to uh, take her to the forest. And she, uh, uh, she understands that in order to make this, uh, you know, this uh, instrument, this little mm. instrument that, uh, uh, the man needs to find a very uh, young, mm. uh, young bamboo, bamboo. Um, des jeunes tiges, des jeunes tiges de bamboo, and he uh, yeah, he cuts them, um, and so she sees him selecting and uh, cutting them, and then she's going to learn how to cut these uh, these young pieces of bamboo into smaller parts, mm. and then learning how to open uh, open them. And eventually carve them into um, uh, making the instrument. We never see the artist appear in her videos in the way that we see Tomoko in hers. Uh, however, we do see her hand, um, her hands, uh, her feet, and leg when she's trying the shoes. Um, but um, uh, but there is a voice. Uh, now uh, that voice is not a spoken voice uh, in traditional documentary films or videos, uh, there is uh, a voiceover that is telling us what is happening. Uh, in, this, uh, in, these, in these two pieces, uh, Eiko is writing um, very personal mm. um, 
journal entries, sentences that are telling us about the experience. Uh, she is writing the sentence in English, which appears uh, at the top of the frame horizontally, and the sentence is written in kanji, and it's, uh, it appears vertically to the right of the image, so that you've got this kind of, uh, yeah, this kind of uh, shape uh, appearing, this language shape appearing always at an angle right in the, uh, in the video. The, each entry uh, has a kind of Marguerite Duras-like quality to it. Uh, it's both introspective and objective and likes to play also with the repetition of, um, uh, of words. Um, um, so it is, on one hand, uh, uh, it has a kind of documentary quality by being objective and describing the process, but it's also, um, of course, uh, very much of a journey, right, mm -hmm. into uh, an encounter with this indigenous cu culture. And uh, Eiko Soga is one of the <clears throat> few, a few contemporary artists or contemporary filmmakers from Japan uh, engaged in this dialogue right, with um, the Ainu community. Mm. So, uh, so it's a wonderful coincidence uh, that uh, we were able to see uh, new work by Tomoko Kuroike mm. this year because she had this very important exhibition, which we commented, which we wrote about yes. in Turbulence uh, last year, uh, late last year, um, and um, and seeing a possible connection or a connection that we wanted to make uh, between these two artists bring back Tomoko to video film and introduce uh, Eiko Soga to a French audience. So uh, we, uh, yeah, we both hope that um, you, uh, uh, you enjoy the works. Uh, both artists have asked us to uh, convey uh, their excitement about being in the, in the uh, exhibition and their gratitude. And um, we're also, of course, again, grateful to Gabriel Suchet and his team and uh, think that it's wonderful uh, that uh, under these uh, sad circumstances that this exhibition was uh, uh, or is able to, um, able to go on. Uh, we would have loved, of course, to have been there in France, uh, but uh, we're, uh, you yeah, Wishing good luck to the exhibition. Okay. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much.